you may have fooled everybody else. This is a topic that we usually do um, when I see some foolishness on the internet and everybody is praising it all the time. Jeff just <laughs> copied and pasted and put this whole thing up here. Just, like I thought you were going shorthand this thing, but no, nah, I just he, copy paste. I did. I actually <laughs> typed it all out. I could have it. I looked I at it and typed it. Oh, all he out. worked really I hard. Did. Good job, Jeff. Nah, he's I like just... copy and paste <laughs> was an option. No, nah. well, not right, 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 right. Uh, you mean I could have done that? <laughs> like, wait a second, I jumped over the fence and the gate was open. That's funny. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. That's funny. Um, anyway, um, yeah, it's when I, uh, you know, highlight something that is has the potential of going viral or has even gone viral, and I try to, um, Ghostbusters that thing, you know what I mean. <laughs> Before, before I get out Myth of hand, <laughs> huh? Mythbuster? No, I said yeah. what I wanted to say, Jeff. Anyway, um, <laughs> Doctor Doctor Matthew Stevens, he um he's he's got this clip that's going viral after giving his daughter, um, gifting his daughter with a diamond studded ring. It's got like one big ring in the middle, and two on and one on each side for his her, her siblings. And he said, I gave you this because I don't want you to ever be impressed by anything. He said, I don't want to be want you to be impressed when a man gives you a diamond ring. Yeah, my dad already did it. Is the, the and I think ring. that's the dumbest thing in the world. <laughs> I, I think she's and Dr. Matthew Stevens is a very smart man. I've I've listened to a lot of his sermons. He's helped me in a lot of areas. Um, help me understand a lot of things, but this road you gonna have to walk alone. This is where we part <laughs> ways, sir. I'm going. What were you gonna say, Tobias? No, I, I feel like we we see it on TV all the time, like or we see we know people who are very privileged growing up who get everything they want, who get mm-hmm. everything they need handed to them, and then when they get older. They're still impressed by it when somebody else does it for it. In fact, it comes it kind of becomes a thing where they're just accustomed to it. I think a better lesson here would be to teach her to, you know, like when I'm when you have the means to be able to work for yourself, then you're not easily impressed when somebody tries to show up and just hand you something. But that's just mm-hmm. a thought process of mine. I feel like the intent was to set a standard for how you should be treated, mm-hmm. but also I, something just didn't sit right with me about like just the the presentation of it. I didn't, I don't like it. It felt a little cringy. A little bit, yeah. <laughs> I felt like it was a really sweet gesture. Honestly, I know that it might make things a little challenging when it comes to uh, the authenticity of finding a partner. Like it's really not as simple as oh, I'm not impressed by this ring, so it's not enough for me. Like, I don't think that that should be the standard for a relationship. And I don't know what he's taught in the background. You know, I don't know if he's taught her, like, a man should be respectful, a man should be this, a man should open doors for you, a man should, you know, doesn't want to see you struggle. He wants to provide. He wants to be a leader. Mm -hmm. And uh, just from that clip alone, it's not enough to tell. But from the impression, it could come off as, you know, as long as the, like, you know, this is the ring and this is the standard. So if it's not better than this, then it's nothing. But let's talk about a man who is respectful, a man who is a leader, loyal, confident, a, a provider, um, it is on fire for the Lord and um, honors him and spends time as he and hears from God. And Not that day. I say all of this for a reason. <laughs> I say day. all of this for a reason. But let's say he prevents a ring that's less than what her father gave her. You know, then do you just go back into the world because oh, this isn't this is below the standards that my father has set for me? But it's just the ring. You know what I mean? Like what what is the overall message? Like how much I effort has been put into what? That wasn't really the reaction that I thought that you was. You know, I spent my you know, I spent my whole salary on that. Well, yeah. I really, appreci- I really do, I really do appreciate it. But you know, 
I saw rings all the time. My dad gave me yeah. rings all the time. He said that mm -hmm. my dad made a standard when I was in eighth grade to get me a ring after every milestone like this. If I ever got, uh, if I graduated high school, he'd give me a ring. If I graduated college, he would give me, it's which is boy. what he was saying, which is what he was saying that he would do. So I'm not oh, really, he, I really oh, appreciate it. Yeah, he did, I yeah. really appreciate it, but I'm not impressed by it. That's and all. Think, Thank and you. Gonna, that, yeah. And I think I that's- that long Oh, that's the joking. thing that kind of rubs it. That's oh, don't the, curse it now. That that that's the thing that kind of like rubs me the wrong way because I'm like you, you set a standard and like the intent might have been one thing, but the message is completely different. It has to yeah. be a realistic standard when you set one. Like realistically, you know, e even if the salary is, there are plenty of quality men whose paychecks may not look like Dr. Matthew Stevenson's. And or they're and on their way to that, and they're just not there yet. But no, there's also men who can buy you a ring every milestone. But let's say he's also disrespecting you, or this. Let's say he's not. Let's say he's not, Alicia. Let's say he's not, and let's just stay on topic. Why everybody gotta be um Mister from Color Purple uh, for us to get a, a subject across? I'm, I had to use That's the extreme so that people could understand because there, there is, there is a middle ground. There is, he's not the most, you know, there are guys who are not smacking you across the room that are still, you know, not quality men. Let's be very clear. My there are people is, who though, use small microaggressions to, to disrespect women, but still have the paycheck to continue to uh, feel like we that. Got it. We got, yeah. okay. got it. Continue. Okay. Yeah. Girl, go ahead. Girl. Finish, finish what you're saying, Alicia. No, no, no. That's it. That's it. You feel me? So my thing is, uh, we're not we're, just, we're not just talking about quality men though. Uh, my thing is, like sometimes when you get something in quantity, you lose the quality of what it means to receive it. And so then my thing isn't just mm. the fact of of her like getting rings for every milestone. It's kind of like, uh, you know, I'm proposing to you. Isn't what the ring means? And then you don't got it for everything. You don't got it for across the street. <laughs> like it's like all right. So right. then what does the ring even really mean? <laughs> what does you gonna have your hand mean? out. Yeah, you gonna you have mean your hand. Right Don't now? worry, it's okay. My daddy got it. My daddy got it. My daddy got it. My daddy got it. Here's the thing. Oh, yes, thank you, God. Hallelujah. Um, there is y'all remember the song um Dance Like David Dance, right? Mm -hmm. Um David was found dancing. I forget whatever the reason was, but he was dancing and he was king at this time. Right. And we all remember um, David became the king after Saul was after Saul died. Right. Mm -hmm. David married Saul's daughter, Mikal. Um, And Mikal was was a beautiful woman. Not that it matters in this story, but she was pretty. Right. Um, blam, blam, blam. So she, everybody is like, yo, looking at David, David danced out of his clothes. Right. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, the Bible passage talks about how David's wife came out and it said David, the wife of David, David's wife, it, it lets you know that she was his wife, right? Mm -hmm. Um, and every other another every other passage it said David's wife, right? She go she comes outside and she goes, I how the king, my how the king glorified himself today. Right? And David was like woman don't you know we just won this battle? Da, da 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 da. You know we should all be rejoicing. The Bible, the passage, then referred to her as Mikal, Saul's daughter. Mm. And we never heard from heard of Mikal again. Hmm. The Bible talks about how, and I think we forget the sanct just how the sanctity of marriage we forget get so much because the world has watered it down so much it be meaning to people whatever they want it to mean and it goes back to what i was saying about words meaning things and marriage mm -hmm. being a christian concept but the news does well we're going to talk about her in a little bit she married to a whole nother man with you know what i mean and they step out on each other all the time but they don't view it as that but that's how they marriage is set up that ain't how a marriage is supposed to be set up. But anyway, you come into this situation where, you know, well, you come into this situation where the Bible talks about a marriage is supposed to be like where a daughter leaves her father's house and becomes one with this man. 
right? When two become one, not to say that you're not your father's daughter anymore, but more importantly, you are that man's wife. That is number one. So whatever your dad, but he is supposed to take the role that your father was playing, right? So when I'm in this, when I'm in this situation and with this quote unquote daddy's girl, right? Awesome. You was a daddy's girl. That's amazing. You was a daddy girl, but all right, well, you don't do it like my daddy does it. You didn't do such and such like my daddy. My dad, well, don't worry. My daddy will do this. My daddy will do that. And then it's like, what is he supposed to do as a husband? He can never impress you. Nothing's ever romantic because your dad always took you out on daddy daughter dates. You know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? Like, oh, well, you can't never buy me nothing. That's, you know what I mean? Because my daddy, whatever you trying to do, my daddy already did it. That's not how it's supposed to go. As a father of a daughter, of a one-year-old daughter, my responsibility is to be cognizant of that. And yes, to actually prepare her for marriage, to prepare for marriage, for marriage, not me. <laughs> just be my just be my little girl for the rest of your life. No, I'm supposed to be preparing you for another man, Lord willing. That's why, that's why fathers walk daughters down the aisle. Do y'all know that? That's why. It's called what? What's it called? Giving them away. Yeah. Yeah. Giving yeah. her yeah. away. Yeah. I, I want you know, to stand. Like that was very selfish and that was very uh, self-absorbed and self-servient. That ain't had nothing to do with that little girl. They had nothing to do with her. He was not thinking about her in that moment. He was how oh how the king glorified himself today. Yes. <laughs> I definitely could see it from that standpoint. Cause what if I have a man? What if I what if I find a man that is good for me and can't buy me all of these diamond rings? And now I gotta deal with um now and not even knowing that I'm dealing with saying well he's a good man. he's he don't he don't do this he don't do that and like not and you done gave her all of these things you done showed her all of these things about how great of a man you are because you can provide monetarily and all of that type of stuff but you ain't never told her like the value not saying that he doesn't not saying that he hasn't you know what i mean but there's a lot of fathers that's going to look at that and not do that because they get a clip and they live their life and they raise their kids based off off, off a clip you know what i mean saying so i'm not saying that he's doing that but somebody going to see that and be like well i got to get my girls in diamond ring so she never impressed like mm -hmm. fam the way that you the way that it is like socially acceptable to have a ring or to have a uh you know a proposal is a guy is supposed to work he's supposed to give the ring is supposed to cost three months salary three months of his salary right and a lot of people you know i put that you know i posted that because somebody was like how much would you spend on a ring i'm like well they say three months salary. You know what I mean? And the people, all the Christians, you ain't got to spend that much on the ring. It ain't about the ring. Whatever. I don't put that. I'm like, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying. No one's asking how much you're supposed to spend. They're saying it's three months salary. And I think that's more Christian than anything. You know what I mean? Because what is our, what does our father do? What did our father do? What did our big brother do? We are the bride of Christ. Jesus went away to prepare a place for us. You know what I'm saying? He's preparing a place for us. So me coming in here like, yeah, I just got you this ring from the um from the dollar store or from the bubble machine, the bubble gum machine. Here you go. It ain't about the ring. It ain't about the ring. It ain't about the ring. It's about the union. You know what I mean? <laughs> Bam, you ain't put no thought in this. You ain't work for this. Jacob worked for Rachel for seven years. Mm -hmm. Then her father tricked him. He had to marry Leah and then work for her for another seven years. Yeah. And just even in that I in those times they were draping them in um jewelry. They were, you know, handing them they would they would get five rings, you know, like mm. there was no shortage of mm. of lavish for gifts in that regard when yeah. they wanted them to be a wife. So mm. yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
That is. Now I have seen That's somebody all, get I mean, five rings for the. <laughs> Did you send me that video, Keith? Where the guy had five rings <laughs> and let it shoot. Yeah, remember that dude that had mad? He was just like he was like, he had like you five want? rings and let her choose one for the uh, proposal or something. Now, I listen, saying, I wanted to talk it. about. I think that I, I, here's my take on that. So this is a viral, another viral um, situation. We actually went to, he went to Clark. He went to Clark when we went to Clark. Oh, yeah. That young man. That's right. Um, he went He went viral and everybody's reposting it like that. If you ain't coming like this, then don't come at <laughs> all. In the... Listen, yeah. I think that was one the, of the and laziest still single. things. Come on now. Huh? <laughs> Nothing. Up. My huh? bad, my bad. Nothing. <laughs> what? That is a single mentality. Oh yeah, yeah, they still single, pal. Yeah, it is. But you know, don't come you, at like, all. What's good please. for somebody else might not be good for. Yeah, stop saying it. Um, I think that is one of the laziest things. Now, just saying everything that we just said and bringing up all the examples that we brought up, I think that is one of the laziest <laughs> displays <laughs> of "Will you marry me?" You know what I'm saying? There were people hit me. Up, you don't know the background. You don't know the background. What was happening? Because I know his friends. So what happened was she couldn't <laughs> decide, and she couldn't decide on the ring. So he brought all of the all of the ring. I'm like, that don't make it no better. Right. It's not her job to decide on a ring. We it's not her job you. to decide. You are supposed to be the decision maker. And did so, he put a down payment on each ring, or did he get a? Did he get I a? Don't know what he did, he. I don't know. He what may, he, I he know he have. didn't buy all five. He, he, he may have I'm put a down sure. payment on all five. What seems more likely is he worked out a deal with the jeweler who was standing for, right there. He like, works at a jewelry five. store. Okay. <laughs> oh, his best friend works at a care. jewelry store. Maybe not him. Yeah. I don't care I don't about know. none of that. Yeah. That's lazy. The presentation <laughs> is lazy. And it's, it, again, it's, it's like, oh, what if he had all the money to pay for? So what? You gonna wear it one? It takes away from that like, moment. Let me fan. It, it does take away from the moment. If I can't, like, fam, decide for me. If I just come out, if I'm like, all right, yeah, I'm married. That's what it's about. Me marrying you. Yeah. That's what it's about. For sure. I don't want. The, I don't want this ring. I'm like, fam, we going to this store once. <laughs> and it's an engagement. It's an engagement ring. It's not even a wedding ring. I could see the wedding ring, which you'll be wearing forever. Like this is the ring that I got married with. So, yes, that's yeah, the one that y'all go and pick out together, true, yeah. right? The mm -hmm. proposal. No, that... those are the same. Those are the, you're, no. you. Usually no, they're get not. Engaged. They mm -hmm. are. No, you, no, they're my not. Mom, my mom has two rings. Actually, she got like four because my there's dad, an engagement ring, Alicia, one. and then there's a wedding mm -hmm. ring. Yeah, your wedding band. I is think you get a band, and it attaches itself to your engagement ring, which would make it its full. For example, the the, sure, the ring that I got from that attached. Yes, mm -hmm. the ring yes. that I got when I was Speak engaged, and mm -hmm. and and it's a, just a standard rock, and then right. the band that I got to symbolize the marriage is is right. the one that is underneath. And together okay. they form right. the wedding ring, but they're not separate. There was not two large rings, one for engagement and one for marriage. Some people uh, like some of them. Alicia, what? <laughs> I'm not what I'm not saying no. that they. I'm not saying one is large and one is small. I'm saying no. I'm they're saying separate. they're separate rings that form. Yeah. Sure, they might form one, but they were separate rings. You go and you figure out the wedding ring together. The wedding rings. Yeah. The engagement ring would take some thought on the My part, proposing. because I'm the <laughs> one that needs to do all the preparation in that moment to prepare for marriage because I'm the groom. This is my job to try to sweep you off your feet enough to the point where you would want to marry me. Not, hey, hey, here, here go five rings. Pick one. Will you marry me? Like, get out of here. Oh, I couldn't choose. You're not supposed to choose. It's a it's a proposal. I'm proposing to you. So but if what I already would be the know you, was... we couldn't choose in the store, and she couldn't choose when you said, "Will you marry me?" And now I'm really What's under pressure. <laughs> now I'm really under pressure, and I got five rings, and I still got to say yes. But I'm looking at all of them really clearly. Right. 
What's the difference? Right. Right. It's just lame, lame nigga activity. That's all. 